in question number 11 they given us a you know a sequence now, this is a sequence question no right so um, they tell us to find the fifth term uh, they give three uh, sequence here we need to find the fifth term and also in term right first one uh, easy now you can see here 13 9 5 1 like that then how to find the fifth term very simple when you look at here you can see this is a arithmetic sequence huh? you can see here common difference you know common difference here 13 to 9 4 huh? normally uh, we tell how but the from second term we need to subtract first term if you need to uh, you need to choose uh, consecutive two terms uh, close to each other from the second one second term here second term is 9 no 9 subtract 13 so here will be but the minus 4 so that's why here fifth term is minus 4 right then in term how we find in term also very easily we can find for this uh, uh, arithmetic sequence what the minus 4 in we put with the common difference we put minus 4 in i will show you a easy method now here uh, common difference is minus 4 so i will put minus 4 in and in if you thought has 1 here will be minus 4 get to 13 how may uh, how much you should add to here right again i will tell we write the co common difference common difference with in huh? that means here minus 4 in minus 4 in and in replace with 1 then here multiplication no right if i write here minus 4 and for the n we need to put always 1 then it is minus 4 minus 4 now uh, imagine here in mean first uh, for in for the n we put 1 no that means for the first term uh, get to 1 first term uh, uh, how much you should add here minus 4 plus what you can get 13 it should be plus 17 right that's the idea so here like that so we should add here 17 no so that's why for the minus 4 in put here 17 or you can use arithmetic sequence uh, what we use a uh, un like that how to find the term uh, that uh, formula also you can use but here quick way i show you here you can write what the minus 4 in plus 17 that means 17 minus 4 in right you can uh, we write the plus term plus no so that's why we can write like this uh, here you can use even this one what the un equal the uh, uh, arithmetic 1 a plus n minus 1 d like that this also and uh, you can substitute here then you can find n term for that right that also work right here i show you quick method when you have a uh, arithmetic sequence just put the common difference with n and replace with 1 and check what the value get to first term how much you should add here that put for the n right that way okay now we need to find the uh, sequence b this one in term right now here when you uh, look here very carefully check this is not uh, look like arithmetic sequence or uh, geometric sequence you know you can see here uh, there's no common difference 0 to 7 uh, 7 difference 7 to 26 huh? there's no that kind of uh, arithmetic sequence or um, geometric se sequence so maybe this is a uh, but the Mm, quadratic sequence or cubic sequence so uh, to find that i will write this uh, these four terms this uh, sorry this uh, yeah these four terms here and let's we check with that we need to find n term and also here we have some space no so i will write there 7 0 26 26 and 63 now um, we need to find the fifth term and also n term right here difference let's just write here difference is 7 and here here difference is what the 19 huh? 26 minus 7 right 19 then 26 to 63 different will be 37 right then um yeah here again let's see find the difference because here also the, we have no that kind of common difference so here will be uh 12 12 7 to 19 difference is 12 then 19 to 37 difference is 18 right then again here we let let's we get the difference here common difference here will be 6 right now uh, normally for us uh, 
in the IGCC level they give uh, quadratic sequence and cubic sequence so that's why this should be cubic sequence now at the last we get 6 here then I will assume this is a cubic sequence because here we have three difference now right so uh, what will be the next one here difference should be then after 6 huh? this pattern you should understand here the next term here should be 6 difference so that's why 16 plus 6 it will be 24 then 37 to here difference for the next term it should be but the uh, we can get 24 at 37 this one add to this then you can get this like this here 18 plus 6 we got the next term like that 37 plus 24 you can get the next term so here will be 4 plus 7 11 1 come to here and here 61 then get to next term in the this one again 61 add to this then you can get here it will be uh, 124 124 when you add 61 with 63 it will be 124 so we get the fifth term of this sequence now right it will be uh, I will write here but the here we need to write 124 now we need to find the n term right to find the n term here yeah we need to remember some formulas right this is now this is uh, cubic sequence so you need to remember these uh, four formulas what the 6a equal 6a equal what the uh, third difference first no or we can you know in some books sometimes we uh, different difference way we write here uh, we can write here first term of the third difference or like that or just third difference hmm? like that's here uh, but I will write here directly value here first term first term of the third difference this is the first difference this is the second difference right this is the first difference this is the second difference this is the third difference third difference first term is six no so this should be equal to six next this formula you need to remember six a for the all any cubic sequence this will work by the six a six a equal to this then the next one this one the we can call as first term of the second difference first term of the second difference this one it will be what the uh, 12a always 12a plus 2b equal to that what the here 12 right that means first term of the second difference this is the first difference this is the second difference first term of the second difference that means this one this is the second difference line this is the first term that will be then the uh, now, next formula you need to remember what the 7a always 7a right 7a plus 3b plus c equal what the first term of the first difference now this is the first uh, normally we tell u2 minus u1 or uh, we can think it like that what the first term of the first difference this is the first difference line so here first difference is uh, first term of the first difference is 7 so this should be equal to 7 and then last one what do we need to remember a plus b plus c plus d equal uh, first term first term is zero these four equations you need to remember at least you know you need to remember this part these are we have kind of pattern no? uh, this one equal to this then this one equal to this this one equal to this and this one equal to this like that we have a kind of pattern here so only you have to remember these thing right then if you slow this you can get the quadratic formula now quadratic formula mean you uh, need to know here quadratic formula also in this pattern right uh, quadratic formula always will be a huh? um, x and o now here we will use n because n no n term no we need that's why n cube here then after b n square plus c in uh, 1 right here should be index 1 or just we can write just only n then plus d like that here you need to see this pattern right here in cube in square in 1 and here in 0 actually in 0 mean 1 so that's why you don't need to put it just d try to remember this pattern now huh? this very help right now we need to find a b c d and replace here you can get the in term then after right you need to find a is what b is what like that okay i will show you here doing now we wrote now here using that i will find now let's you find first of all 
6 a equals 6 so very simple divide by 6 here cotton a will be what the 1 okay now we got a now next one what the we wrote 12 a plus 2 b equal according to that here should be 12 no right now here a b got no already here so that's why we can find here 12 into a mean 1 now we know that hmm? right 12 here now here 12 into 1 12 12 bring to here it will be 12 minus 12 because this uh, plus 12 when you bring here minus 12 so here 2 b equal 0 because 12 minus 12 0 then divide by 2 so b equal 0 b also we got now we need to find another 2 but the um, next one will be what the 7 a plus 3 b plus c equal um, what the 7 mm? uh, what the first different of the first uh, first term of the first different right here now a and b both we know so we need to write 7 into 1 plus 3 into 0 plus c equals 7 now here will be 7 here 3 into 0 0 no don't need to care here 7 now c will be equal to 0 because 7 bring to here minus 7 so 7 minus 7 mean 0 here will be 0 right c also we got now now we need to find what the um, d so very simple a plus b plus c plus d equal 0 huh? our fourth formula so here a equal 1 b equal 0 c equal 0 d we should find so very simple this don't need to care so when you bring plus 1 to here it will be minus 1 so we got the all uh, letters a b c d right now here we need to write that right a mean 1 no so 1 into n mean uh, here uh, here a and n between here multiplication no so that's why 1 a mean 1 in to the power 3 b mean 0 so 0 into n square and c also 0 c into n 1 i don't need i will not write here here uh, index is 1 you don't need to put the index there then so here d equal right the minus 1 now if you simplify this here will be just n cube and this will be plus into minus minus so it will be minus 1 so here n term is what the n cube minus 1 so here i could write in but the n term will be n cube minus 1 right now we have to find the last uh, for the c c sequence uh, here fifth term we need to find it's very simple actually because why here you can see this is just arithmetic sequence right one by one increase no this seven plus uh, one eight eight plus one nine like that so very simple here should be eleven right one by one increase no and here also it not big deal you can see this is a geometric progression huh? always multiply by two 18 to 2 16 16 to 32 13 to 2 64 so multiply by 2 that means common ratio we have so that's why here 64 into 2 it will be 128 now we got the um, uh, fifth term of that uh, c, uh, c sequence right okay now uh, to find the n term of uh, c sequence very simple here we need to find separately what the numerator we have another sequence you know different one denominator another sequence so we need to think separately now here very simple again this is arithmetic sequence no so like earlier we did we can do it here also i will show you that uh, you know both method i will use here the normal method i show you earlier same one and here i will use the formula now here uh, 7 and 8 between 7 and 8 and what the difference 7 and 8 difference is 1 so 1 in uh, right okay I will write it uh, here right 1 in okay 1 in and if you if I replace n with 1 it will be 1 into 1 1 to make 7 we need to add 6 here right like that we can get quickly without formula right here will be n plus 6 so here should be n plus 6 right then you can find the 
uh, n term here is the n term uh, this n term like that okay now even this is you can get with this formula right this one you, you can use this one but uh, okay now get to this one this is a um, uh, geometric sequence now so i will use the formula here right here i will use the formula formula is what the u n equal a r n minus 1 so here let's say replace what are the value we have a is 8 right here will be <coughs> mm, right uh, r mean 2 here you can get r how second difference divided by the first difference that means 16 divided by 8 2 right always like that no 30 divided by 16 2 so here 2 in minus 1 right what the next line here 8 mean you can write 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the to the power n minus 1 now when you simplify here what will happen we can add these index 3 plus n minus 1 3 plus n minus 1 but the you know when you have same base and multiplication we can adjust index so 3 plus n minus 1 mean okay i will show you it here 3 plus n minus 1 that mean n here will be 3 minus 1 mean plus 2 so here answer will be what the the answer will be n plus 2 so that's why here we can write for the 2 to the power n plus 2 right like that we can get the uh, geometric uh, for the geometric sequence here we can get the n term so here should be for the 2 to the power n plus 2 like that you can get the n term for uh, sequence c right that's the idea now we have uh, fill this table now we should do the uh, next part here here they tell what the one term in sequence c is this p over q write down the next term in sequence c in term of p and q uh, using p and q right no, don't need to find here in term or something like that just they tell no using the p and q uh, term of p and q you need to give the next term with p and q so very simple idea you need to find how they get after you know one term in the sequence c how they get the next term so very simple here uh, for example here 9 get to 10 we add 1 here 32 multiplied by 2 then you can get 64 so like that here also we need to write that how we can get the if it is p here get to next one we should add one here because if you know one term get to in the number uh, sorry in the sequence c if you know if you know one term get to next term we should add one get to top one numerator we should add always one if you know this add one then nine like that so here will be uh, here p over q now so p plus one we can get the next term and then uh, denominator if denominator is q we should multiply by 2 here always multiply by 2 no huh? this is a geometric progression no so it should be for the 2 q right that's the answer for part b